Welcome to the video, everybody, and we just wanted to come on and give y'all an update because so many of y'all have been asking how the condo's coming. Well, the condo is actually doing very well. We've got a lot done, but we have taken some time off during the winter. Y'all make sure to stay to the end of the video because I've got a huge announcement and I'm going to give y'all a lot more information about the condo in the future. But we just wanted to come on, give y'all a little updates of some few things that we have done. Just kind of bring y'all up to speed and there will be more content coming your way very soon. So you can see this is how we decorated for Christmas. We spent Christmas Eve over here and also Christmas Day with our family and it was so much fun. Where When we left off on the last video, we were having some sink issues. We were trying to find the perfect sink to fit in this little pre-cut hole in our countertop. Well, y'all, we finally got one, and we actually finally got some running water in the kitchen. That was a huge plus for us, so that was great news. Another thing that we did, and we went really easy and budget-friendly on our pantry, our pantry didn't have any shelving in it, so we just went to Lowe's and we just got one of these large metal racks that's got like these pre-cut um, plywood um, shelving on it. You just kind of put the metal part together and then you just add the shelving to it. I told Ben I felt like that would be the easiest and the most budget friendly because I think this was around $100. So he just took it out on the balcony where he had a lot of room and just went out and assembled the metal part out there. He brought it back in, we set it in the pantry, and we added the shelves to it, and this has been working out great. So if you're looking for an inexpensive way to upcycle or make over your pantry, I highly recommend this metal shelving with these pre-cut shelves. This was pretty easy to put together. It only, I don't, I don't know how long it took him, maybe a couple of hours to get the whole thing done. But this has been working out really well for us. Since this is our secondary home, this will be plenty of room for us to store, you know, food and, and things like that. So we got the, the, you know, we got that going and that was great to help us out in the kitchen. We also went in and we decorated our guest room because like I mentioned, we had family stay over for the first time overnight on Christmas Eve and it was so much fun. So we got a bed set up in there. We got I got some pretty bedding and all of this bedding I have linked in my Amazon store, but this is one of my favorite dust ruffle type comforters. I have this in several colors and several sizes. This is one of my favorite pieces of bedding and I, like I say, I have several of these. I went and bought some comfy pillows and I think I got these at Bell's um, um, Burke's Outlet. It is now Bell's and I got these. They have always have a great selection of pillows and they always have really good prices. So I'm just gonna, you know, put the bedding on here and I just kinda always like to layer my bedding. For Since this was a guest room, we went with a full-size bed. I wish we could have got a, a larger bed, but you know, I read a lot of times that people for guest rooms, usually on average, they get a full-size bed because that way, because usually guest rooms are not, you know, the larger rooms in your home. So you don't want a big old bed in, in your guest room taking up a lot of space. We did put up some drop cloth curtains. We got a window treatment, some little, um, some shades to put over the window for privacy. And then I just added some um, drop cloth curtains. So that made a huge, you know, impact on the room also. Right now, I have still not hung up any wall decor, but I will be doing that in the future because yard sales are about to crank up and I know I will probably be able to find some at really good deals. So we just hung up the curtains and I'll show you what it looks like. But these are just a few things that we have done since we left off on the last video. I know we kind of dropped the ball over here, but y'all, it was so hard for me to keep up two channels. So like I say, in just a minute, I'm going to give y'all some more information, give y'all more details, and, and give you a big announcement. So it's kind of like some exciting news, so y'all stay tuned for that. Now here's the guest room set up, and like I say, just adding a few details to it, and especially adding some pretty bedding and some drop cloth curtains. And y'all, drop cloth curtains are very budget friendly, so if you're looking for some window treatment solutions, I highly recommend getting drop cloth and just getting those little curtain rings and hanging them yourself. Just a really easy DIY. 
Now, here's some more information and some exciting news for y'all. Hey y'all, and thanks for coming over to the video today. We just wanted to get on here and give y'all an update because so many of y'all have asked about the condo and how it's coming along and for updates. And I know we just kind of dropped the ball over there. We worked and worked and worked really hard on it throughout the spring and the summertime up to, at, you know, at right when we purchased it, we just got in there and just, I mean, we just really worked most of the summer over there trying to get it done. And we did. We got the majority of it to where we could go over and start enjoying it. There's still some um, areas that are still going to need some fixtures and details. And we're just kind of adding that stuff as we go. Winter hit. You know, we spent Christmas over there with some of our family. But, you know, winter time came and it's kind of a weather-driven type thing you know when it's cold we kind of just stayed in in our main home and we didn't really go over there as much through the winter so that's another thing that kind of slowed us down was winter time and then ben he kind of got burnt out you know he did a lot over there you know worked really hard every day pretty much through the summer months so he kind of took a break so now that spring is here we're about to take back up we're about to get back over there enjoy it and start adding back those details and start working on those areas that we did not get finished up but all that content i wanted to tell y'all will be over on our green acres channel we will still have this channel open but if you want to get updates and see video footage of the condo at this point everything will be over on our green acres i will leave a link to it down below so make sure to go over join me and subscribe Hit that notification bell so you will get notified every time I upload a video. So all the video content for the condo will now be over on Our Green Acres. So I hope we'll see you over there. Bye, y'all. One more thing, y'all. And I, as I was editing this video, I realized I didn't let y'all know there is going to be a condo update video, a big video that I think y'all are really going to enjoy. We're going to recap the whole year in a time lapse. We're going to speed it up. We got all the highlights in one video, and it will be a premiering over on Our Green Acres on March the 24th, and that'll be Sunday. I usually always upload over there on Sundays around 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. So just wanted to let y'all know, be looking for a, a brand new condo video over on Our Green Acres on March 24th on Sunday. Hope to see y'all there. Bye, y'all.